हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट व्हाट आर इंसेक्ट रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट्स एंड हाउ यू कैन डेवलप द इंसेक्ट रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट्स सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट आर इंसेक्ट रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट सो एज देयर नेम इंडिकेटिंग इंसेक्ट रेजिस्टेंस मीन्स दीज प्लांट्स आर दोज प्लांट्स विच कैन रजिस्ट द अटैक ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स मीन्स इंसेक्ट्स कुड नॉट फीड ऑन दीज plants or if they feed on these plant so the insect will die so the insect resistance plants are simply the plants which are made resistance against a particular insect by the transferring of certain foreign genes and these genes they make some kind of toxin that ultimately kill the insect if they feed on that particular transgenic plant like for example if this is a plant and the insect try to eat it so due to the gene which is giving resistance against this particular insect so that gene will definitely code for a toxin and if this insect eats on the plant so the toxin will go inside the insect body and it will die so by this way you can understand the basic principle of insect resistance plant that simply they contain some kind of genes that ultimately give some property to plants so that it become resistance against the particular insects and the process by which these foreign genes are transferred to the plants that process is known as transgenesis and while the plants developed after the introduction of trans you can say the trans gene or foreign gene so these plants are known as transgenic plants so how we can develop the transgenic plants and what are the various applications of transgenic plant if you want to know the complete process of the transgenic plant so you can see my other video the link will be in the description in this video i am just only stick to the insect resistance plant that how we can develop or make the insect resistance plant so basic principle you know now that we just simply transferring the genes that are giving resistance against the insects so how to develop the insect resistance plant so just stick to our basic principle we are just transferring the genes that are providing resistance to the plant against the insects so here we just have to identify or search for that genes which we can use for insect resistance like we can take the resistance genes from microorganisms we can also find genes from some higher plants and we can also find the genes from the animals so in order to develop the insect resistance plant we can take the resistance genes from either of them like from microorganisms higher plants or animal so in the further slide i will discuss the some examples of gene from all of these three categories first insect resistance genes from the micro organism so in case of micro organism we can use many genes and one of the example are the cry genes so these cry genes these are present in the bacillus thuringiensis which is a bacteria and this bacillus thuringiensis it produce a non toxic protein it is endotoxin which is called as protoxin but when insect feed on this non toxic protoxin inside the stomach of the insect it is changed into the active toxin due to the alkaline ph of the insect gut and once it converted into the active toxin so ultimately it will attack the brush border membrane of the mid gut epithelial cells and ultimately paralyze the insect and kill it so by using these cry genes we can develop the insect resistance plants like example of this category that is cry gene category include bt cotton so bt cotton is a crop which is resistance against the boller worm because when boller worm try to feed this bt cotton so it you can say eventually it get killed 
why because this bt cotonate express the cry 1a gene that make the toxin and when the boloworm eat this cotton that toxin just moves inside the gut of boloworm and due to the alkaline condition as i told it will be converted into the active toxin and ultimately kill the boloworm so by using cry genes we can develop the insect resistance plant second example of genes from the microorganism that we can use the gene for cholesterol oxidase so this gene it form an enzyme that is cholesterol oxidase and that enzyme it cause the oxidation of cholesterol and change it into ketosteroids and hydrogen peroxide and as we know cholesterol is very much important for the cell membrane for maintaining the structural integrity and the normal functioning of the cell membrane but if this cholesterol oxidase enzyme just oxidize the cholesterol so in that case insect do not have cholesterol to maintain its integrity of cell membrane so that's why when the insect feed on the plant which is expressing this cholesterol oxidase gene in that case this enzyme when it comes or you can say when it goes into the stomach of or gut of the insect so it will ultimately uh, this uh, you can say block or this oxidize this cholesterol and block the cholesterol to get integrated into the cell membrane and which may lead to the cell lysis and the death of inse insect so this is also one of the example of you can say the gene which we can take from the microorganism because this cholesterol oxidase gene can be taken from the streptomyces culture to develop a transgenic plant the third example that is isopentenyl transferase gene so this ipt gene it it is it can be isolated from the agrobacterium tumefaciens and it was isolated and introduced into the tobacco and potato this gene sorry tobacco and tomato this gene code for an important enzyme which is involved in the synthesis of cytokinin so by using this ipt gene we can also develop a transgenic plant and like here the transgenic plant with the transgene with this transgene were found to reduce the leaf consumption by tobacco hornworm and decrease the survival of peach potato aphids now next from where we can take the resistant genes that is resistant genes from plants so in order to make the insect resistance plant we can also take the genes from plants and here the first example is of proteinase inhibitor genes so proteinases are the enzymes which degrade the various proteins here we are using the genes that makes the inhibitors which ultimately inhibit the activity of these proteinase enzyme so certain plants they naturally produce the proteinase inhibitor to provide the defense against the herbivorous insect and this is possible since the inhibitor when this inhibitor which is formed by this inhibitor gene when it will be ingested by the insect so it will interfere with the digestive enzymes of the insects because and digestive enzymes are also proteinase so these will be interfere by the proteinase inhibitor formed by this proteinase inhibitor gene so which ultimately result in the results in the nutrient deprivation causing the death of insects and it is possible to control the insect population by introducing this proteinase inhibitor gene into crop plants and that normally do not produce these proteins so example of this proteinase inhibitor gene include cpti gene that is cow p trypsin inhibitor gene so scientists they just transfer this cpti gene into the tobacco plant and created the transgenic tobacco plant which have the enhanced resistance to heliothis varicens which is an which is an insect next example of the resistant gene from plant is alpha amylase inhibitor genes so as we know the insect larva it secrete you can say gut enzyme alpha amylase to digest the starch but by using this alpha amylase inhibitor gene we can make a alpha amylase inhibitor and as the insect feed on that particular plant so this alpha amylase inhibitor will be move into its gut 
and ultimately block the activity of this alpha amylase enzyme. So as a result, if this enzyme is not there, so the larva is not able to digest the starch and it will be starved and ultimately it will be killed. So here, example of this include alpha amylase inhibitor, they may be isolated from the beans that has been successfully transferred and expressed in the tobacco plant. It provides the resistance against the coleoptera that is Jabrotis subfasciatus, which is an insect. Third types of genes which we can take from plants are the lectin genes. So first of all, what are the lectins? Lectins are the glycoproteins which bind to carbohydrates. They also bind to chitin. So their deleterious effect of the chitin binding on the insect development is mediated by binding to chitin in its peritrophic membrane that line the midgut of insect and thus ultimately interfere with the uptake of nutrients. Means these lectins, they bind to the chitin of peritrophic membrane of the insects and ultimately they interfere with the uptake of their nutrients. So in that way, they just kill the insect and here the example include that lectin gene CNA means the gene which was taken from the Calanthus nivalis and it is transferred and expressed in potato and tomato. Second example of this lectin gene that is GNA that is lectin gene from Galanthus nivalis it was also used to give resistance against some insect pests. Now the third category from where we can take genes to make the insect resistance plant are the animals. We can also take the resistant genes from animals to make our plant insect resistance. So first example include here again proteinase inhibitor genes means like from plants we can also take the protein inhibitor genes from the mammals and these genes are transferred to provide resistance against variety of insects. And example include is BPTI that is bovine pancreatic trypsin inhibitor gene. So this BPTI inhibitor, it you can say it inhibit the activity of bovine pancreatic trypsin. So when we isolate this gene for that particular inhibitor, so it will ultimately inhibit the trypsin enzyme present in the gut of the insects and ultimately cause the insect to die due to starvation. Next example is alpha antitrypsin genes. So we can also take the biological active human alpha 1 antitrypsin gene and that was used for to you can say for the production of tomato transgenic plants. So this was all about that how we can make the plant resistance. Simply we can take the genes we can identify a particular genes which will give resistance against the particular insects and we can either take the genes from microorganisms from plants or from animals so this is all about that how we can develop the insect resistance plant so this is all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much